Let's kick things off with our suddenly game of the week. Game of the week brought to you by Sudden Link. They call it the Battle of Hawkins Creek. White Oak on the road against the rival Panthers from Spring Hill. Our own David Gibson's been in Longview tonight and joins us live from Panther Stadium to tell us how the latest chapter between these two turned out. David, take it away. Hey, Gary, you know how to pick these games of the week. Another shootout in the first half in Longview at Panther Stadium. Let's get to the highlights. It's homecoming day for the Battle of the Hawkins Creek. Who will get bragging rights? Will it be White Oak or Spring Hill? Let's go to first quarter action. Panthers will strike first. Jack Stovall draws back to pass before he throws a nice sprout to a cutting Brennan Ferguson, and he's in for the touchdown. Panthers are fired up about this one, but back comes White Oak. Kaysen Siegley fakes the handoff. He rolls out to the left before firing it down the field to a wide open Jonah Pilar. He turns on the Jets, and nobody will be able to catch him. Touchdown Roughnecks, but the extra point is no good. Now second quarter action, Roughnecks with the ball. Siegley fakes the handoff again before calling his own number. He gets out wide before making a nice move, and he'll break free, going untouched to the end zone. Touchdown, White Oak, they take the lead. But Panthers are driving down the field. They hand it off to Devontae Powers. He runs to the left before cutting back right, making people miss before muscling his way into the end zone. Spring Hill takes the lead. Now, time running down in the half. Fourth down, Stovall, he's going to drop back to pass. He fires a laser to Ferguson. He runs in for his second touchdown of the half, and the Panthers lead 27 to 14 at the half. Let's take a look at the score. And Spring Hill runs away with this one in the second half, 48 to 14. And here's what Coach Griffiths had to say about the big win. Yeah, man, you don't get many rivalries like this, and it's 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 special. It's really special. It means a lot to these kids, I'll tell you that. And they practice their butt off of it, and they deserve every bit of it. Real. Like I said, once we finally woke up and realized there's a football game happening, it was absolutely unreal. The kids played great. Hats off to them, man. It's a player's game, and they killed it. Even as a, as a whole, we talked about it on the sideline. Just We didn't start good on either side of the ball, and we, we were kind of waiting on something to get going. We finally got something going. It was great on both sides of the ball. Uh, Jacks played well. Uh, o line played well it was just it was just a great team win hey Gary it looks like Spring Hill gets all the bragging rights in this one and they shut out White Oak in the second half we'll send it back to you <laughs> 